we welcome you all formally first to the ICR, to the ARS service, and to this academy. And on this beautiful day on January 1st, it's a great day when you have joined the service. It's a prestigious service and a national service which you are joining. And we are very happy that there is a, in this uh, huge campus, for the next three months, we are going to be breathing young, vibrant air through you. Thanks a lot for coming here and being here. I would also like to tell we are already accepted you as accomplished scientists, but your stint here in this foundation course and as you join this service is basically to sharpen some of those hidden talents which you were already airing and some of those skills which would make you better agri-professionals. Because as the country looks forward to some of your uh, inputs in your service, we thought making you better professionals in core and non-core discipline areas would make you a full-fledged uh, uh, scientist. My colleagues, Dr. Kalpana, Dr. K. H. Rao, Dr. Shivaramne, all my colleagues from the faculty, all the 200 plus scientist trainees of this 103 focus, my students of this academy, and the family members, relatives of the trainees, ladies and gentlemen. It's a, indeed a very proud occasion in the 40th year, year of this existence of this academy, we are welcoming another 200 plus bright and young scientists to the Agriculture Research Service of Indian Council of Agriculture Research. I congratulate you all, first for having come to this service, successfully getting through and decided to join. Welcome to the ICR service. This is one of the foremost service that evolved over the last four decades. In fact, we are very proud the way Indian agriculture has evolved. The ICR also has brought up this service and now it has matured. Some hint of this was taken from the USDA Agriculture Research Service, but we have far exceeded, gone far ahead in terms of the diversity, the reach, and the composition of the agriculture scientists in the country. In fact, this is a unique model anywhere in the world, either in the developing or developed countries. Dr. Uma, who is sitting behind, possibly would vouch for what training she has undergone and what training she is going to see through her daughter-in-law in the next three months or seven months. There is a sea change. Now that is what the academy does. We try to bring change in the system. We try to bring change in the ICR. We try to bring change in the national agriculture research and education systems. So the, this particular training is also part of that change. You will experience something. So we try to make this training interactive, a lot more to make you more responsive scientists to the society. That's what we try to take you over the next three months period. And the whatever the foundation that the universities have laid in you in terms of academic achievements, we try to give a little bit of packaging in transforming you as a good citizen, a good scientist, a responsive scientist. That's what <coughs> we do here. I once again compliment you for getting to this one and wish you all a very Happy New Year. We wish that this 2016 is a very educative, learning, and prosperous New Year for all of us, and also for the agriculture system in this country. I compliment you all. Thank you one and all.